Defeating the skin soul man revealed his connection to an evil cult of Norgamer, god of murder, that has taken root in the nearby city of Magnamar. Follow the trail of these fanatics to the city and put an end to the dark congregation of Justice Ironbriar. Alright, here we are on our next scenario. This one is the Cult Exposed. And it says down during the scenario, if you acquire a spell, bury a card. So I have zero reason to want to acquire a spell. So I guess for all of those, we're just going to pass them checks and just let the card go away. You know, what's the point uh, of it, you know? Yeah, acquire the spell and then bury, bury it. Bury a card, duh. Okay. Okay. Uh, and, and our actual reward down at the bottom states that each character draws a random spell from the box. So boy, that's helpful yeah. too. So this whole thing's garbage for us. <laughs> Let's hope we find at least something good while we're doing this. All right, Carmen, why don't you start at the temple and read where we're, uh, what's going on here? All right, at this location... When you move or are moved here, discard a card. Any player at another location may evade an encounter and move here, discarding two cards instead of the normal one, then reset her hand and in her turn. Uh, you may close this location automatically. Yeah, I don't like that. I think one of us is probably just going to need to start at the temple. That way we don't have to yeah, do that Yeah, I don't want to discard cards no, to be no, there. No, no, no. So, okay, the academy, what happens there? On your first exploration on a turn, if you encounter anything other than a spell, after the exploration, you may explore again. Uh, when closing, it is an <laughs> intelligence or arcane six check. And then uh, when permanently closed, you may shuffle a spell from your discard pile into your deck. Yeah, we had a little problem with the intelligence checks on the last one. So, All right, next we have the mill. And the mill says, at this location, add two to your checks with the slashing trait. So I'm under the impression that that means that if you're using a weapon with the slashing trait, that you get a plus two to that weapon. Uh, then it says, when closing, succeed at a dexterity or acrobats a check. The city gate says, if you fail a combat check, shuffle a random monster from the box into a the location deck. And then it says, when closing, summon and defeat a bayonet henchman. Uh, well, the city gate and the mill have the most monsters, and I am in a monster slaying mood, so uh -huh. I am going to go to... What am I doing with this? I am going to go to the city gate. Okay. Oh. Well, I was thinking the mill would work well for me, but you said someone should start at the temple, so I guess I'll start there. Uh, well, you don't have to go if you don't want to. Well, you can I don't go want to discard a card in order to well, move there. If you want, I'll start at the temple instead. I mean, I already draw my, drew my cards. I haven't really I'm even fine. looked at them. Are I'm you fine. sure? Yes, I'm fine. All right. Well, you're kind of whining about it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, I will give you the option. You want to go first or second? Oh, you drew a good hand. That's I have the good both thing. of my crossbows. Yeah, too bad no monsters in that I location. Know. Well, you got the henchman. Uh, oh, yeah, or the uh, him. henchman I'll or the, uh, the villain that could be there. Um, so, you want to go first? Yes. All right, I'll flip your card. Go ahead. All right, so there's four blessings there, and you ran across a blessing of Eomita. Eomita? <laughs> and this takes a charisma four to acquire. What is your charisma? My charisma um, it's is a six. D6. Mm -hmm. All right. There you go. Yeah, I almost upgraded it, but I didn't. Uh, that's a six, technically. Are we going to count? Let's see. I think it's a I six. I think it's a six. Okay. okay. So you did acquire it. So you get to add that. And, uh, well, what's your plans? You're either going to have to discard down or you <laughs> are going to have to. Why do you always destroy all the decks when you roll? You're like. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, this stinks. I get this all nice and straightened up. Okay, so why don't you just explore again? Discard this. I yeah, have to discard anyway, so. All right. All right, so a strength spell. This is an intelligence, arcane, wisdom, divine six. So it looks like this is going away, right? My wisdom Well, is... you don't want to acquire it. Because, remember, the scenario said if you acquire a spell, bury a card. You don't want it's to bury a, a card. It's a card. I could bury well, it. Well, you could bury it. What's the point? We can't carry them to the I next know, thing. It's just silly. It's a stupid thing. We, we can't do a lick of good with any of these spells. These right. are, th this thing is set up for the magic users, this scenario, obviously. <laughs> and given the fact neither one of us are, this whole thing... I have my phases. crossbow. It's all I need. Oh, boy. What did I just run into? Ooh. Okay, this is the skin saw ritual. Well, oh, haven't seen this yet. So, there is no check to defeat. Instead, it says... Each character at this location summons and encounters a skin 
skin saw cultist henchman. Each character at this location must discard one card from the top of her deck. Well, it said her, not him, so therefore it doesn't apply to me. <laughs> For each undefeated cultist, banish this card. Okay, so first thing I have to do, which is funny because that's actually who we're fighting this, is the skin, skin skull... I can't talk. Skin the skin saw cultists. Saw cultists. So this will hey. go away. And we are going to replace it with a skin saw cultist. <laughs> Alright, so it says that he is a check to defeat combat 11. It says, if undefeated, shuffle the top card of the blessing deck into this location deck. Ooh, that's actually... Oh, it's the top card. Darn, I was wishing it would be this blessing of Iori. <laughs> Alright, so um, he's just a combat 11, so I do have my flaming mace. So I will use that. It says, uh, for your combat check, reveal this card to roll your strength or melee die. Plus 1d8 plus 1. Ooh, 1d8 plus 1, plus the fact I did upgrade my strength. So now I am a plus 6 on my strength. The flaming mace will make me a plus 7 on my strength. I am a beast! Mm. So... Given the fact that I have a plus seven, all I have to do is roll a four with these two dice. Are you serious? I'm going to destroy you, monster. So let's see. Let's make sure that happens. And yep. I rolled a ten, so congratulations to me. I have destroyed the skin. Skin Soul Cultist. <laughs> I can't get that out of my mouth for some reason. I'm having a hard time. And uh, that will end my turn, so I'll pass over to Carmen. She and sells, it is your turn. She sells. Yeah, see? S I can't do whatever. <laughs> By the seashore. Blessing of Shaylin. It's a wisdom four. My wisdom is a d6 plus, plus one. Plus one, because you did upgrade it. So you I just got to roll a three. Wisdom. And you got it. Huh, wow. Look at that. So because, you know you wouldn't have gotten it unless you did that plus I one know. upgrade. <laughs> All right, um, so. Discard this card to explore, explore your location. Explore Might as well. Getting a lot of blessings. That's cool. What do we got there? Potion of Energy Resistance. Okay, we've actually had this before. This is an Intelligence Craft 4, okay. and your Intelligence is a D4. So, yeah, yeah you have to roll a 4 with a 4. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And you didn't. I okay. rolled a 1. So, Potion of en Energy Resistance is going away, and okay. I imagine you're finished? Yes. Awesome. All right, so flip mine. An Acolyte. Oh, man, she's so pretty. Come join my team. Okay, so I just have to roll a... Four with a d6, and I rolled a two. I don't like you. Whatever. You just go mm -hmm. sit there in the discard pile You're not and think about that. Enough. <laughs> I thought I thought I was. I guess not. All right. Uh, web. Well, you don't want to acquire the spell, correct? Okay. So just let it go. Who cares? Bye, -bye spell. Because you're just gonna you're just gonna bury it anyways. So. All right. This is gonna be a really interesting scenario. Okay. Ooh, a werewolf. Oh. It says, before the encounter, examine the top card of the Blessing discard pile. If the card is a Blessing of the Gods, the difficulty to defeat the werewolf is increased by three. It is a Blessing of the Gods. So this werewolf now is a Combat 13. Well, he's a little tougher than the other guy, that's for sure. So we're still going to use my Flaming Mace, but this time we're going to go ahead and discard it and get the extra bonus D4 with the Fire Trait. So that'll give me a D8 and a D4. And a D10, and I'm gonna have to get because I get a plus seven, so I just need to get a six. Am I right? Yeah. Oh no 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 no. He's he's a he's a uh, plus three, so he's a sixteen. So I gotta get oh. I gotta get a nine with these three dice. So I'm still confident that I will take out this werewolf. So and there we go. We got nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I just whooped up on me some got me some werewolf meat. Yeah. So I'm all done. I'm going to flip your card. It's a blessing well, of you, the gods. You just automatically acquire this. Automatically acquire and discard. Which you can discard and explore again. Maybe wow. You're flying. Another blessing of the gods. So I automatically <laughs> acquire and discard. <laughs> go ahead and keep going, girl. And ooh, ooh, what's that? What's a heavy that? pick. A heavy pick. Ooh. Okay. Well, what's it do? Let's see. A strength melee eleven. For your combat check, reveal this card to roll your strength or melee die plus 1d6 plus 1. You may additionally discard this card to add one another 1d6. If any d6s rolled on this weapon is a 6, it counts as a 7. Ooh, that's actually kind of neat. I, I like that. Plus, it's a one-handed weapon. Uh-huh. Um, unfortunately, your strength is only a d8, isn't it's it? It's a d8. Yeah, but 
Oh no, neither one of us have our normal blessing of the god because we could have matched this blessing of Torog up here on the discard oh, yeah. pile, but oh well, bummer. Um, hey, if you can't get it, I'm not that worried about it to be honest with you. I can't get it unless no, you use a blessing. I, and I'm so. not I don't want to use a blessing on it, so Oh wait, wait. Discard this card, add one die to your check to acquire a boon. Oh, so you could use the co the codex, and then you've got your staff of minor healing, which you need to use I as think well. That's so, a good time to hey, use why this. not? That'll give you what two d eights, and uh, possibly you'll pick this up. Let's see. Nine. I got a nine. Oh, you were so close. That oh well. Goodbye, heavy pick. Yeah. It didn't want to play with you, anyways. Okay, okay. you want to use your staff of minor healing? Yeah. Recharge this card. Man, you've flown through this deck. There's only two cards, and you get to encounter the villain or a henchman. And then I recharge one random card. I'll wait for you to finish that real quick, and then I will go. All right, so okay. you're redrawing back up. Okay, and it is my turn. A bugbear! Look at all these weapons! Yeah, you are ready and equipped to fight whatever. Okay, so we fought the bugbear a million times. If undefeated, bury one item or weapon of your choice from your discard pile. I don't have a discard pile, chump. Um, and he is a combat 10. Well, I don't have a single weapon. <laughs> I just, I didn't realize it. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's all right. I get a plus six naturally, so I just got to roll a four with a d10. Um, I think I will use my blessing of Shaylin and grab myself an additional d10. No sense in playing around here, so... Uh, two D10s, and he is defeated. Okay, so the bugbear is gone. Look at me, I'm destroying every pile now, too. Jeez. I know. Um, I noticed Well, that. okay, how many monsters have I fought here? That's been three. two. No, 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 two. Well, three technically, because I had to summon one, though. Uh, that means the only thing left in this deck, monster-wise, would be the villain or possibly a henchman. I'm thinking about using my guide to explore again. Why not? Let's do this, and let's see what I encounter. Okay. Oh no, it's the skin sauce cultist crap. <laughs> Alright, so it and is. And you have no and weapons. And I have no weapons. Okay, so it says um, he is a combat 11. If undefeated, shuffle the top card of the blessing deck into this location deck. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. I got so much other stuff here. I mean, you've got a blessing, I've got a blessing. I will use my blessing of Kalista, roll 2d10s. And I uh, figure I get a plus 6. I just got to roll a 5 with 2d10s. Okay. I mean, come on, seriously. And I did. So that's a seven, All right. which means I have successfully defeated the Skin Saw Cultist. So that means if I wanted to, I can close down this location. Um, and it says here that I must summon and defeat a bandit henchman. Yeah. I don't remember how strong they are, but let's see. Should I go ahead and close it down? There's no monsters left. That's how we win. Yeah, I mean, one, two, three, four, five. I'd have to go through five more cards. Yeah, I might as the, well. I mean, the villain will run over there if we don't close okay. it down, right? Correct. Yes, yes, he would. All right, so um, the the bandit henchman is only a combat... Is, okay, he's a combat eight, Carmen, yes. but it does say before the encounter, recharge a card of your choice from your hand. Uh, just to be on the safe side, I'll recharge my master no, 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 tools no. and keep my armor, my half plate armor. Um, if defeated, well, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so all I have to do, because I've already a got one? a plus six. Oh, no, I have to roll two. a two. Okay. So as long as I don't roll a one. As oh long my as God. you don't, don't roll a one. <laughs> don't say it. Just don't say it. Just say, <laughs> don't, don't roll a ten. Yeah. Yes! Okay, we are safe. So the bandit henchman has been defeated, which does close down this location. And there was a bad looking ally here. Wow, she was Aww. cool looking. All right, so too bad she goes bye bye, but this okay. location has now officially been closed. All right, now good thing is I can maybe get some weapons in my <laughs> hand. So I am all finished up, and it's your turn. Wow. Oh, wow! Good God, you just cannot find. It is a star knife. You got me nervous that I forgot to shuffle something in there. Uh oh. Okay, it's so a star knife. Dexterity ranged six. six. My dexterity is a d12. Okay, but you don't have range, do you? But you got a, a d12 plus two, so you just got to roll a four with this, don't I you? I got to roll a four. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Let's well, see. let's see. It does. For your combat check, reveal this card to roll your strength or melee die. Well, you don't want this anyways. You may additionally discard this card to add a 2d4. You don't want this regardless because it's not going to replace any weapon you've got. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, but you did get it. Um, 
So, Yay, me. You, well, you know this is either a villain or a henchman now. For a fact, that is a villain or henchman, unless I screwed up by putting these together. So what's your plan? You got plenty of weapons. Um, I do have a blessing here to help you if you need it. But you're by yourself, Carly. I, Just explore and go, hun. I hate using up my blessings for that. What are you talking about? Most of them you found from here. Plus, you still have your staff of minor healing. Okay. This is my blessing. That's not one that I found. Okay, fine. You've had to discard <laughs> one whopping blessing. You found like a million okay. in there. All right, so we did come across the Skin Saw Cultist. He has a check 11 to defeat. And, uh, well, that's just pretty much it. Just uh, knock him out, and the temple closes automatically. So you're by yourself, which is great. So you get your choice. Woo, what's your light crossbow do? Let's use that one. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> For your combat check, reveal this card to roll your dexterity or ranged die plus 1d8 plus 1. If you are proficient with weapons, you may discard this card to add 1d4 plus 1 to a combat check in another Oh, location. okay. So it's just giving you a d8, then your d12, and then that's it. And then plus you're fighting by yourself. Uh, yeah. I mean, well, this one lets me recharge the card for a D6. Okay. So if I used my returning throwing axe, I could have three D6s. Okay, so a D6. Know. All right, then do it. Do whatever you feel like you need to do, girl. So it's, it's am I doing that right? An 11. I mean, a three D6s, yeah. Okay. All right, so, so no, no D8 then. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh -huh. so a D12, a D8, and then how are you Plus getting... Plus one. I recharge this to get a D6. And then, because you discarded the Stark Knife, you get two more. So then you get the yeah. plus one for the Throwing Axe, plus one for being in the your location by yourself, then a plus two for your... All right, um, so, so that's plus a plus four. four, so you just got to roll a seven with, <laughs> what, 800 dice? Five dice. Yeah, I think you got this, hon. <laughs> no, no, please, no! Oh my god! <laughs> so you needed a 7 and you got a 12, 13, 14, 19, 20, 20 22, a 27. You, you went 20 points beyond what you needed. So um, when closing, you may close this location automatically. So flip it over. Okay. That is two locations down. So you draw them back up. Yes. All right. I will flip over my card and I will move. I'm going to go to the academy, and I'll let you go to the mill. I have all my blessings already. Oh, oh you're Great. so blessed. Okay, okay. so um, it's a levitate spell. Uh, we don't want this, so we're just going to let it go Goodbye, away. Levitate Carmen, spell. your turn. A siren. Okay, ah! have we ever fought a siren? She's going to beat okay. me up. Well, the problem okay. is she's a wisdom eight, and uh, that's not good for you. It says, well... Eh. All damage dealt by the siren is mental damage that may not be reduced. Mm -hmm. If undefeated, examine the top three cards of your deck and discard any allies. Shuffle any remaining cards into your deck. Okay. Into your deck? Oh. Oh, 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 you have to discard allies out of your deck. Holy crap. That stinks. Okay. Oh. So, she is a wisdom eight for you to be able to defeat. Okay. Good well. thing she... Good thing you ran into I'm it. I'm a Wisdom D6 plus 1. Okay, well, we don't have... I have a Blessing. Yes, but it's for... Eh, darn, too bad we didn't get our Wisdom Blessing. Um, so that would let me to roll two D6s, and I would have to get a 7. I have a Blessing as well. I'll give you another D6. How's that? Let's knock her Three out. Three D6s, and there I have to go. get a 7. And you have to get a 7? You can okay. do this. Come on, Carmen. Yes. Yeah, you got her. Okay, so good. You beat her up. Excellent work, hun. So you used wisdom to outwit the... That is the first time I think we've ever beaten anything in wisdom battle. <laughs> All right, so my turn. And my plus one didn't do me any good because we just had so many dice that it uh, uh -huh. took care of it anyway. So I have got a goblin commando. He is a combat nine. He says before the encounter, the goblin, goblin commando deals one ranged combat damage to you. One ranged. Okay, well, I'll recharge my half plate um, to reduce combat damage by three. So I'll just put that down there. All right, now let's see what we got here. He is a combat nine. Oh, you are going to so regret making me recharge that. So I'm going to use my Sith with plus one, which will allow me to roll two d4s plus one. My, my natural strength is a plus six. This gives me one, which is a... I don't even need to roll for this, guys. Because I'm going to have, all I got to roll is a two 
And I'm going to have two D4s and a D10, so he is definitely dead. Okay. So the good part, though, is is that uh, according to this location, it says um, on your first exploration on your turn, if you encounter anything other than spell, you get to explore again. So we came across the speed spell. We don't want it, so we're just going to let that go bye-bye. Carmen? A falling bell. Interesting. Barrier. Okay, well, let's see what this is about. This is the Dexterity Acrobats 10. Each character at this location encounters this barrier. If a character succeeds at a Wisdom or Perception 10 check, the difficulty of her checks to defeat the barrier is decreased by 4. If a character defeats the barrier, it deals 1 combat damage. Okay, wait a minute. It deals one combat damage. If a character dealt, fails to defeat the barrier, it deals dealt to her. If a character fails to defeat the barrier, it deals one d four plus one combat damage dealt to her. Banish this card. Okay. Look wow. what I've got. Masterwork tools. I guess it's gonna go bye bye then. Isn't Recharge it? this card to defeat a barrier whose highest difficulty to defeat is fourteen or lower. Boom. See you later. It was only a, a check ten, so okay. it is gone. All right, y'all done? Yes. All right, so draw back up. There we go. It's him. All right, so this is Justice Ironbriar, and he is a check to defeat combat 16. Okay. Well, do you want me to temporarily close the mill? This could be the game. If we do, might as well. Temporarily close it, babe. Or do we want to explore some more? Uh, I, I know that for a okay. fact. If you want to do that, I'm fine with that. I know, though, I wanted to... I want to be done with him here because the academy is like a big waste of a location for us. I don't know how much we're actually going to find. It's up to you. Okay. We've got, um, how many monsters have you encountered here at the mill so far? I think only the one. Okay, so there's two more because now we know the henchman is here and another monster. Uh -huh. There's still one more barrier. There is a weapon. Um, there is an armor, an ally, and a blessing. Yeah, hey! You, an ally would sure. be nice. Let's leave him. I'll beat him up and let's leave him run over there and we'll see if we can find see things. See if we get a good ally. Okay, well, he does say before the encounter, choose a character at your location. That character summons and encounters a random monster. I guess I'll choose me. Is that okay to do that? Just choose <laughs> me. Um, if there are no other characters at your location, the difficulty to defeat Justice Iron Bar is increased by 1d4. Okay, so why don't we do the random monster first and then we'll do the. Um, Roll the D4. So, Carmen, draw me a uh, random monster. And what did I get? A skeleton. Oh, no. It's not a skeleton. Oh, a combat eight. All that's, right. It's tough. Well, it, once again, I don't even need to roll for him because I have... Well, he, actually, he'll be a plus three because be I, plus do three. Have, I do have the slashing trait. Okay? So, I'll use my great axe, which will give me a D10 and yeah. a D12. And then... I will also have a plus uh, six. So I just need to roll a five with these two, correct? And then he's defeated. So. I thought you only had to roll a three, but. Eight. Yeah, yeah math's tough. Whatever. <laughs> um, whichever it is, I don't really care. I know I beat him. That's all I know. Okay. So uh, now we will roll our d4 on Justice Iron Briar and see what he will be increased to. And he will be a check 18. Ooh. Okay, so he is a tough cookie. Good thing you got a blessing. Maybe you can help me out with this. So, hmm, I will use my great axe again. And mm -hmm. I will use it to get my D12 and my D10. Now I'm going to recharge it to get an additional D10. And... Okay. I will wait to see if Carmen wishes to use... So he's going to be an 18. Mm-hmm. And you have a plus I seven. have a 32... I have a 32 potential that I could roll. Um, he is an 18. I have a plus 6 on, on me. Yeah. So that means he. I have to roll a 12 with a potential 32. I'm going to use a blessing for Okay. Well, well, I mean, the other thing you can do is recharge maybe one of your crossbows and give me another D4. Maybe oh, do that? No, they don't recharge. They discard. Uh, okay, well, okay. Don't worry about it then. I'll just roll this and maybe I'll fail and, you know. Guess, uh, you <laughs> you know. can do it. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Oh, i got to get a 12. That's not a... You're not going to use the blessing. I'll use my blessing. Thank you. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Well, okay, so 10, 15, 67, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, see, if you wouldn't have, I would have failed. Not necessarily. <laughs> okay, so good thing the Academy is it, officially closed. It depends closed. on which dice I gave you. 
And now let's just, we'll put him, Justice Ironbriar, well, into Justice... the mill. Wait. Wait, what? You were supposed to defeat him twice. No, no, no. That it was, was an, either or? It was an or. Let me see if I can. There. Okay. It <laughs> was a uh, combat no, 16 it was or. or okay. okay. I thought it was then. Sorry. I think I got a little peek at that barrier that was in here. Uh-oh. So, well. Uh, cheater, cheater. Well, you know, you're the one who made me <laughs> show you the card because you didn't read it the first time. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I believe this is all shuffled up. I'm going to shuffle a few more times for everybody. Okay. Yeah, because we shuffle and they can see the bottom card in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I am all finished up. I kicked some butt, took some names, and okay. Carmen, it is now, now your turn. Now he's got me scared. He's an 18, man. <laughs> Not the Attic Whisperer! <laughs> it's the thing of my nightmares! All right, so the before the encounter, each character at your location must succeed at a Wisdom 4 check or be dealt one mental damage, which may not be reduced. Players must choose a blessing to discard as their damage if they have any. Ha! You would have had to have gotten rid of that blessing I anyways. I don't have any. Well, you would have. Okay, well, roll that because I think your Wisdom's a... Oh, your Wisdom's a D6. I'm sorry. Plus one. So you just need to roll a three. And you succeed. Ha! Okay, so he is a combat to defeat 10. What are you going to do? I will use my light crossbow plus one. Okay, so that is a, a D12, D12 and a D8. And a D8 plus one. Okay. Are you hmm. thinking about recharging a card? Yeah. You get a D6? Yeah, I'd probably use him. But the whole reason I'm in here is to try to get an ally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you, oh right. I see. I'll recharge my... Okay. So that'll give you another D6. So you're fighting by yourself. So that's a total plus three. So you just got to get a seven. Yes. I'm sorry. So you actually had to get a six instead because you had a plus one on your light crossbow as well. So the Attic Whisper has been defeated. And Carmen, you uh, are all finished up. Yes. All right. Well, I'll uh, swing on over there and hang out with you. How are you doing? All right, skin saw cultist, which means that we could potentially just take all the cards out of the deck, but the villain if we wanted to now. All right, so it says, um, if undefeated, shuffle the blah, 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 whatever, dude. All right, he's a check to defeat combat 11. You are going to hate the day that you fought against me. I'm going to use my Sith plus one. I have a six on my strength melee. The Sith gives me one. That's a seven. I get to roll a d10, which would be an eight, nine. So if I recharge this weapon, I don't even have to roll the dice. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I want to hang on to it. So <laughs> uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then plus all my other stuff. So he has been defeated. I... Okay. Well, it is uh, succeed at a dexterity or acrobatics eight check. So this ain't really an easy one for me to do because um, I have an 8 on my dexterity, so I have to roll an 8 with an 8. Ready? And I roll one. <laughs> so location's Good still job. open, and it is your turn. It is an ambush. Ah, okay, so wisdom, perception, dexterity, acrobats, 9. The difficulty to defeat the barrier is increased by the adventure deck number of the current scenario, if any. So this is actually an 11. Uh -huh. If defeated, you may immediately explore again. If undefeated, examine the location deck until you find a monster. Encounter it, subtracting one for each die rolled in your check. I Shuffle really don't want to lose this. Okay, well, okay. here's the problem. If you do lose this, I believe that he is the last monster in here. Yeah. He is the villain. So um, if you lose this, you're going to have to subtract as well from your roll, which is not a good thing at all. I have a D12 plus 4, so I've got a 16 that I could... He's 11. He's, he's, it's an 11 for you to be able right. to, um, to uh, get past. I do have a blessing. Yeah, you do. I have a dog. But the... the... Uh, villain's hard too, and this is my last blessing. I don't have any more blessings. Well, I don't know how many I got left. Okay, so. I still got 11. one blessing left. Yeah, it's I have 11. A plus four, so I had to roll a seven. You can do it. Come on, Carmen, you can do it. Using the blessing, two D12s. <laughs> right. yeah. Now, watch the next card will be the villain, anyways. Got it. So that's a 9, that's a 15, so you passed it. So now you get to explore again. Go yeah. ahead, I'll let you flip it, sorry. 
Burglar! A uh, Boogler! Okay, so he is a Dexterity, Stealth 7, Charisma, Diplomacy 6. Recharge this card to add 1d10 to your Stealth or Disable check. Blah, blah, blah. If you do not acquire this card, discard one weapon or item. So. Recharge this card. Add 1d6 to your check to acquire an ally. Okay, so they give you 2d6s. And then you don't have any bonuses, so you have to roll a 6 with those 2d6s. A dexterity stealth seven. Oh, why wouldn't you do that instead? Yeah. Oh, so you're doing. But it still oh, adds I'm a sorry. six. There you go. I, I, okay. Yeah. I'll just have a moment. So I have a plus four already. Right. So you just need to roll a three with those two dice. You got him. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't let you explore again. It's kind of a dumb character. He's stupid. Jeez. Oh. Holy Candle! Okay. Bury this card, shuffle 1d6 random cards from the Blessings discard pile. One. Here, I'll just Into the Blessings one on. deck. There you go. I ain't gonna waste the time to shuffle one card in, so. <laughs> Alright, my turn. It's him! This is it. Alright, so this is game. No Blessings to help me or anything. So first off, I have to, uh, I'm going to choose you to... It says, um, before the encounter, choose a character at your location. That character summons and encounters a random monster. Okay. So, I'm going to choose you, and then you're going to do what? Evade it! And it goes right back into the uh, box. Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> you're like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so funny. All right. Okay, so now I have to roll a d4 and see. He is two, so he is an 18 again. Um... That's only if there are no other characters. Oh, is there? Oh, well, there you go. He's just so a, he's 16. a 16. So that was making it harder on me than it needed to be. Yeah. All right, so... My light crossbow adds a d4 plus one. Uh, to another location. Oh, You're at shoot. my location. Now. Okay. It's no problem. Just let me do what I need to do here. All right, so <laughs> uh, I think I can still get him. So I roll my uh, strength, which is a d10. My uh, Sith will give me a d4. Two D4s, and then I'm going to recharge it to get an additional D4. If any 4s are rolled, they count as 5s. So that'll give me three D4s plus a D10, and that also gives me a plus 7, so I just need to roll a 9 with all these dice. So okay. uh, there it is. So don't even need to roll it anymore. Right. Justice Ironbriar, you have been You are defeated. All right, so there we go. That was the end of this one. This is the absolute most boring scenario I think I've ever played. Uh, yeah. We didn't get a single card acquisition, I don't think. I mean, this... Boring. I, I acquired a bunch of blessings, but we we aren't able to keep them. So this was it's just just kind of pointless. Didn't we have another one of these in the last scenario yeah. too, where it just seemed like it catered to nothing but the magic users and you know for fighters? And it's just like so we just had to get through it so yeah. we could play the next one. Okay, so let's <laughs> talk about the next one, okay? Because let's let's lay the groundwork right now for the next one because the next one is big deal, okay? Because for several reasons. Number one, it is the end of. Uh, Adventure Pack 2, okay? Which means that we're going to be moving into Adventure Pack 3. Woo! And when we go into Adventure Pack 3, we're going to start banishing basic items whenever we encounter them. Awesome. Yes! Good news. I hate those basic items <laughs> anymore. <laughs> we are going to acquire a bazillion pieces of loot at the end of the next one. Yes. Um, which gets us to, at the end of the next one, we are going to be able to upgrade a card feat. Ah, oh, this is a big deal. And I don't know where to go. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about you first, all okay. right? Okay. Before we started filming, you were talking, you're thinking of uh, the card feat being either a blessing, an ally, but I think you should go weapon. Yeah. You explain. Oh, my first thought was ally because um, I could get a basic ally that could help me with intelligence. And my Are character's <laughs> really low on intelligence. <laughs> but after playing the scenario, it seems like we just go and we beat everything up and that, that's how we win. Look! So <laughs> if, it, if it bleeds, we can kill it. <laughs> That's all that matters. It okay. seems like intelligence isn't as important as I thought, so I really don't. You're think... questioning your upgrade in intelligence, aren't you? Uh, like uh -huh. wisdom. Or I wisdom, think... I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. I, don't, I think maybe I should not have upgraded wisdom. You should have went with your dexterity, shouldn't you? Probably. Because it works twofold. But anyways, yeah, yeah. okay. Well, it's um, too late for so, that. So, but that's where I'm going with the card feed. I'm thinking, well, maybe I should just go ahead and get a weapon because that's what we're good at. And we'll just keep being good at it. You and know? we'll just be good. Yeah. Okay. So you're, you're uh, torn between weapon and blessing and possibly even an ally. In, in yeah. possibly that order. And blessing, my thought was they help with everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Blessings you know? are great. All and around. 
I got a lot of blessings this last time. Mm -hmm. I wasn't able to keep them, so that's kind of frustrating. Okay. Question though: If she does do the weapon, and we don't have a weapon to give her, but if she does do the the, the card feat for a weapon, does she get to take a basic weapon out of the box and add it to her and hand? And choose which and one. And choose which one she wants. Uh, so we'd like an answer on that because one. Because a guys. weapon based on strength same, melee doesn't help me. Same so. with blessing. Same with ally. Does she immediately just get to take the basic and add it to her hand? Okay. Now it's all about me. Let's get back to me. Okay. <laughs> Same with me. Um, now, my card feet, what I'm thinking about doing, I'm torn between item because there are a lot of loot items that we're going to be able to acquire yeah. at the end of this next scenario. Or weapon. Let's face it. My deck, the more cards I keep adding to my deck, the less chances I'm going to be able to keep getting I, uh, weapons popping up. And that's kind of a problem. I mean, let's face it, Valeros... He thrives on weapons, and if I don't have a weapon, then I'm a bit trouble. But at the same time, yeah. my strength melee is so powerful. Because you recharge it, it weapons, automatically. so they're not in your hand anymore. It's usually, I just keep the weapons in my hand. But my strength melee is already so powerful with yeah. the six that I don't know if this is big deal. But okay, you guys help us. Weapon, blessing, ally, weapon, item. I don't know which one I'm going to go with yet. She doesn't know yet. You guys leave your comments below. Help us out. Make this decision because this scenario right now was absolutely boring. We're looking to the next. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, son? That's it. We'll see you in the next scenario. Awesome. See you later, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Alright, so here we are. Um, I can carry five weapons. I have all my weapons here, so nothing new for me. And I can carry three weapons, and surprisingly enough, the star knife yeah. does not work off dexterity. Nope, so no, no need it. for it. Uh, we got a whopping nothing on spells, armors. I have my three armors already, carrying over. I have my one. Okay. Um, items. I can, I've got my two items here. Did you pick up anything? Nope. nope. I have six so, items. Wow, this whole scenario was a Goofy waste. Alright, an ally. Two allies. I'm not going to take the burglar, so... Uh, I'm not going to take the burglar either, believe it or not. Okay. okay, and now we're just the blessings. Decide how we want to divide all this up. We got two normal blessing of the gods. You got two of these... Uh, blessing of Iomedi. Yeah, which is charisma checks, which, I don't know. I'm okay. kind of happy with what I got for the most part. Well, okay, my Blessing of Shaylan does a Wisdom check. I like that. I like mm -hmm. the idea of uh, adding two dice to a non-combat charisma check, okay. actually. How many can you hold? I can hold four. I can, have, I can hold four as well. Okay. Well, you sh definitely should keep your Blessing of Aristotle. Yeah, it adds two dice to a Dexterity-based combat check. I don't even know that I actually need to do that. Oh, I don't know. I'd definitely hang on to that. You fight with Dexterity. It only makes sense. Okay, so I don't think that either one of us need this one here. Because Agreed. we already have them. We both them. have those. Okay. Now, it comes down to what are we going to do with this? A non-combat strength check or a non-combat constitution check. I'm kind of low on both of those. My constitution... What is my constitution? Mine's a um, D8. Uh, mine is a D6. Hmm. So you want to go strength or constitution? My strength is a D8. Hmm? I think I'll go with Constitution. Okay. Well, that gives us a pretty decent variety. And in that way, what that'll do is, is given the fact that you don't have the Torog, see, because now we're kind of bouncing off one another with different types of, uh -huh. you know, blessings. So hopefully one of us will have one in our hand when needed. So, all right. That's pretty much it. So all set up and ready to go for the last scenario.